But hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry I missed last week's upload. I was dying from a flu, so it was just not in my capacity to film a video, but I'm back. It's Friday, just before 12 p.m. It is a very rainy and gloomy day, which I personally don't mind. I am kind of weird in that sense. I do really enjoy the rain, but right now I'm just trying to decide if I wanna go on a run or just like take the day off from working out. Looks like it's raining all weekend, so the next time I'll be able to run is Monday. Kind of have to make like a game time decision here but in the meantime let's open up some packages this is my sephora sale box i didn't go that crazy during these biannually sales i pretty much just stock up on all of my everyday supplies even if i don't technically need them just as a backup because the sale is like too good to miss out on and then i got like a couple new products okay now that i've opened it it does look kind of crazy but i'm not a huge beauty shopper throughout the year i really only grab things when i absolutely need it let's get into the new products that i have had on my wish list for so long firstly is this l'occitane i think that's how you say it the almond shower oil i've been looking for just a body oil in general for so long i don't know why but we don't really have that good of a selection in canada i always see people posting brands like tree hut um dove stuff like that at their local retailers but we really don't have that in canada i've looked at both shoppers and walmart and haven't found anything so i decided to splurge on this and i've also heard it's great for shaving which is great because it eliminates another product and it's like a two-in-one i really want to smell it wow i just got a little baby hand cream to keep in my purse because surprisingly i don't have one and i find myself in lack of this a lot and this is just like a what's in my bag staple I am so excited about this. I think this is my the product that I have been waiting for the most. I've talked about it in I think a couple or maybe one of my vlogs from a couple months ago. But I went to Sephora in store and smelt this and I literally have not been able to stop thinking about it. I've never bought anything from Sol de Janeiro before so... I'm very excited not really a huge fan of their other scents but this one just does something to me it's their vanilla oh my god i don't know the exact scent but it's something with vanilla sol de janeiro's cream is great because it's a lotion and like perfume in one i'm gonna shower and wash my hair today and i will definitely be using this along with this she's bougie i got a dior blush this is in the shade rosy glow 001 pink i actually don't own any powder blushes which i feel like is such a staple to layer on top of your cream blushes and the sale was the perfect time to grab one this one specifically i've been eyeing for probably a good year it's the most beautiful like baby doll pink I think it's gonna layer really nicely on top of a lot of my blushes, especially for summer. Another makeup product that I got is from Say. I've never tried anything from Say before, but obviously their blushes are iconic. I've heard so much. So I picked up the shade Sweetie. I was picturing using these two together. I think they'll look really nice. Oh yeah, that is such a beautiful color that I feel is super versatile too for year round. Okay, last new product is an eye cream from the brand Innisfree. I love this brand. I think it's my favorite skincare brand right now, but this is the Green Tea Caffeine Bright Eye Serum and it's like a roller ball. It looked so nice and 
I don't have an eye cream. I turned 25 last week, so I felt like it was a good time to implement this into my routine. Oh, wow. And then everything else, I'm just going to fly through because it's just restocks. Innisfree moisturizer, the Innisfree hyaluronic acid, the Merit Beauty glow serum you to the people vitamin c and caffeine serum another one of my ordinary lash serums this stuff works so good guys and it's only 15 dollars little pack of shiseido eyelash curler rubber bar things <laughs> um another one of the way leave-in conditioner and then benefit clear brow gel i think the sale will be over by the time this video goes up but still want to show you guys what I grabbed. Let me know in the comments what you guys ended up picking up. One more package. This one is not as exciting as the last. It's just some tea. I have been really into my skin and like internal health healing from the inside journey just because I am still struggling with acne a bit after being after ending Accutane back in November. So one thing that I have implemented is a like hormonal balancing blend that I usually get from Healthy Planet, but you're paying so much for such a small amount of tea. So I decided that I am going to like make my own blend, which is great because then I don't have to stick like three tea bags into my tea. I understand the convenience of a tea bag, but also this is just more cost effective. So I'm excited to do this. I also grabbed my best friend some. So the blend that I use or that I'm going to be making is spearmint, dandelion, and raspberry. Those are the individual bags I was getting from Healthy Planet. $30 for the three of these. If you guys are in Canada, I ordered these from Alpine Herb. They're based in Toronto. more light and refreshing because sometimes lattes are just heavy because it's all milk added in so what i do is i do like 70 percent water and then i'll add a dash of milk into it and it is so good i also love that as soon as i ate lunch it stopped raining so i could have went for a run but i can't right now because everything's digesting so I am going to go either on a walk or for a run in a couple of hours. I want to talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Ana Luisa New York. I've been wearing a bunch of their pieces all throughout the video. Maybe you've noticed, maybe you haven't. If not, I'm excited to share them with you guys. If you haven't heard of Ana Luisa, they are a sustainable jewelry company based out of New York City. Every single piece of jewelry they make is strength and humidity tested to make for long lasting and non-tarnishing jewelry, which I can say, my Ana Luisa collection has truly standed the test of time. For example, I have these little Huggies in that I've had for a couple years now and they look so good still. What's great about that is they come at an amazing cost. Ana Luisa has pieces starting at $39, so there truly is something for everybody. I also want to note that their packaging is plastic free. It comes in a cardboard box. All of their packing slips are cardboard and then each piece comes in a super cute fabric duster bag. I grabbed a pair of earrings and two rings. The earrings are called the Tiva Stud Earrings and they're basically like a cluster of three dots, little stud earrings. I have them in my third hole right now. I actually don't have that many studs so it was definitely something that I've been wanting to pick up just to add 
a little bit of definition and difference to my earring stack because I have so many hoops. Next is the Cody Signet and the Rope Sling Ring. I got this one in a size seven and this in a six. I've stepped away from chunky rings because I find they're not the most practical for everyday life. So I love that these still give like a pop of character and definition, but are easy and really nice for everyday wear. I personally have so much fun with my jewelry. I think you can show a lot of your personality through it. So if you guys are interested in upping your collection, make sure to do so from the link in my description box. And you can also use my discount code here on the screen for some extra money off. There's something about the way butter yellow and blue looks together. I love it. This is my little work from home outfit of the day today. I'm actually done work because we end a bit early on Fridays. We have a five hour day, which is really nice. And I start work early pretty much every day. So I just bang everything out so I can end early. I want to show you guys some room updates. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a really long time. Like I said, it's been a couple weeks, but I made some plant arrangements. This is my fig that was in this corner of my room, but honestly, it just was not thriving because I don't think it was getting enough sunlight, which makes sense because it needs bright, indirect light and that's really not that bright over there. So I'm honestly kind of surprised it lasted this long, but I think it is going to do a lot better right here. It looks kind of cluttered, but there's nothing that I can really do about it. I still hate my desk. <laughs> That's an update. It's so small that I honestly never really work there. I edit videos there, but I'm like bouncing around my house in different locations working because it just really bothers me. I'm not gonna order one until I move out. But anyway, this plant was over here. So I switched things around, moved that there, put it on a different stool. And then I got this cutie little basket from HomeSense a couple weeks ago. I love it. I just keep all of my cords in there, which was really cluttered before. So I just have like camera battery charger, hard drive, different laptop chargers, like all that stuff. I think it looks just more organized. And then over here, I got this stunning new plant. It's a ZZ, I've actually had one before, but this one is a lot larger and I'm just obsessed with it. I went to my local nursery, wasn't planning on getting it, but I just had a vision and she needed to come home with me. I picked up this kind of like plastic woven planter from HomeSense the same day that I got the basket. And then I moved my snake plant over here, which was previously in that corner. The outer pieces are all growing so much higher than the others. I really don't understand. I also got this Dracaena. I had one of these previously and I killed it. Well, it's still alive, but just not really thriving. So I gave it to my brother, got a new one. But lastly, I got a new laundry basket. I think it is so cute. I love the natural wood color. I just wasn't really into my old one. And this one is cool because it's dual purpose. So I can stand on it if needed to grab things from up here. And that was from HomeSense as well. So I unfortunately can't link it, but I'm sure if you guys go, you could probably find it. Hello from the car. I am just on my way to the mall right now. While I was finishing up some work, answering some last minute end of week emails, I got a package and I need to make a couple exchanges. It's for my like next collab with Garage. Sometimes when I pick out pieces of clothing, what I wanted was out of stock. So they send me replacements so that I can like go in store and exchange it, which is super awesome that they allow me to do that. It's still not raining, so I'm feeling very hopeful about going on a run when I'm back. I know I keep saying it, but it's because I'm holding myself accountable here. <laughs> if I don't go, and I've mentioned it five times in this video, it's embarrassing. The great thing about Flex Friday at my work is I can get a decent amount of errands under my belt heading into the weekend. That extra like three hours makes such a big difference because everything after rush hour is just so busy. And I'm wearing the most 
basic outfit ever the same black t-shirt that i was wearing from ritzia lulu leggings oversized vintage leather bomber and then i'm wearing ballet flats <laughs> We got the chalet. I put on the Sol de Janeiro vanilla body butter and I can smell it on me. Like it literally acts as a perfume. I also got my hair cut last week, the day before my birthday. So on April 2nd, I got it cut even shorter. I'm not the biggest fan, but I could not stop thinking about short hair and it wasn't going to leave until I cut it and saw what it looked like. So now that I've seen it, I don't think I'm gonna keep it, but I do think it's cute. This is empty, so good thing I got a new one with my Sephora order. But I want to show you guys some of the products that I use when I blow out my hair. I've been using this white leave-in conditioner every single time I wash my hair since 2021. It's actually incredible if you guys haven't tried it. Next are a couple products from Marc Anthony. They actually sent me this in PR and I'm obsessed with them. I've never tried anything Marc Anthony before. But this Bond Repair Defrizzing Smoothing Cream 4-in-1 Styling is my absolute favorite. I really do think it makes for a really good blowout. I do like one and a half pumps just because my hair is short right now. And I just brush this all throughout my hair. And then I go in with the Nourish and Protect Serum. This is heat protectant, I think. I'm not really sure what the difference is, but paired together, they make for such a nice blowout. <sighs> That's that. I'm gonna let my hair dry for a little bit longer because it's still pretty wet. See you on the flip side. It took me so long to do my hair and it still looks like garbage. I just cannot style short hair. I cannot figure it out, but we're just gonna ignore it and move on. It's a little bit past 7.30 and I'm going over to my best friend's house to hang out. Haven't seen her in a while, so I'm excited. Not really sure what we're doing, but I'm just staying very comfortable and casual. I'm wearing these oddly boxer shorts, brandy tank, and then this little garage zip up sweater. It's 
felt so long. I'm on my way to get my Saturday ritual, my Maritos coffee. Not really sure what my plans are for today. I think I might want to do some spring cleaning maybe later today or tomorrow, but I also want to go thrifting. So I'm gonna see if maybe my brother wants to go with me. I cannot wait for this first sip of Maritos. Here she is in all of her glory. I love that they put foam on top. It's a couple hours later. I just finished filming a video, got dressed, and I'm gonna go thrifting. My brother cannot go because he's hanging out with his girlfriend. So I'm gonna see if my mom wants to go. If not, I'm gonna go alone. Don't hold yourself back from doing things just because people can't go with you. I wanna show you guys my outfit. I'm just wearing this little brandy tank that I was wearing last night. This Jerf Avenue button up. These Reformation carry jeans. My Everlane ballet flats with socks because it's kind of cold out. And then this super cute brown suede bag that i bought myself for my birthday i haven't showed you guys it yet it's from essence I forget the brand name but i'll have it linked down below i think it's so cute you guys know i've been looking for a nice suede bag so i decided to treat myself for my 25th birthday So bright i hope you guys can see me we didn't have any look thrifting i really had a feeling that i was gonna find a really nice denim jacket but my wish did not come true it's a bit later i am sitting in the farm boy parking lot made an iced matcha changed again i changed without a doubt three times a day every day and I just need to grab some groceries for the week and then we're also gonna have a Why was there no pause button? Okay, well it was the radio obviously, oh my god. We're having burgers for dinner. So I'm grabbing that and a couple things that I need for the week. Went all the way to Farm Boys specifically for the burgers and just my luck, they were sold out. Love that for me. Hello, I finished editing the video and realized that it abruptly ended. So I wanted to come in here and just close off the video. Don't forget to check out Anna Louisa from the link in my description box and use my discount code for some money off. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in a new video.